the RTX 4000 series gets a release date and AMD just released a faster version of the 6900 XT. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Audext. Audext is a fast audio to text conversion software that transcribes all popular audio files to text automatically using AI. Audext is a great tool for interview transcription, press conferences, podcasts, lecture notes, voice memos, and voice recordings from your phone. And best of all, it can even determine who's speaking if there's multiple people like during a podcast. So if you want to try out a great audio to text converter, click the link in the description below. So the other day Nvidia had their GTC 2021 conference and during the event unfortunately they did not reveal any new GeForce RTX video cards such as say uh, the RTX 3080 Ti that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. However they did show off a lot of really cool technology and there was one piece of information that they showed off that I thought was really really important and that was in regards to their next generation of GeForce RTX GPUs or at least that's what it looks like to me. So taking a look at their chart here we can see that they have what appears to be their GeForce GPUs listed as well as their new CPUs and DPUs listed on a chart that goes all the way from 2020 to 2025 and for this video I'm going to be focusing in on the GeForce GPUs as that's probably what you guys are most excited for so taking a look here we can see the amperes listed as being released at some point in 2020. Uh, it does look like this chart was left a little bit intentionally vague so that you can't tell exactly when their next generation cards are going to be actually coming out at least not an exact month here but we can tell uh, by looking at the ampere architecture that was released in the form of the RTX 3080 in September of 2020 so taking a look at that and then you take a look at the Ampere Next architecture, which is listed at some point in 2022, we can kind of assume that uh, the RTX 4000 series is going to be the Ampere Next architecture and it will likely debut in the RTX 4080. And taking a look at the chart, we can also assume that the RTX 4080 is going to have a similar release time as the RTX 3080, at least just take a look at how things are structured here. Though, once again, since things are kind of vague, you know, it, although it could be that it releases late 2022, sometime around September, likely once again, that's probably what they're targeting. It is also possible that they could come out with the RTX 4080 a little bit sooner and you know especially if AMD does put a lot of pressure on them let's say that AMD comes out with the RX 7000 series in like late 2021 or early 2022 then that definitely would push Nvidia to come out with the RTX 4080 a little bit sooner so we could potentially be seeing Nvidia's RTX 4080 even as early as early 2022 and I definitely would like to see that you know the sooner that they can get new cards out the better I do like seeing big architectural jumps every 18 months or even sooner if possible however you know taking a look at this chart here it does look like they're kind of leaning towards you know every two years they're going to be trying to put out a video card because then after Ampere Next, we see Ampere Next Next uh, that's listed as being released sometime in 2024. So yeah, AMD's definitely going to have to put a lot of pressure on NVIDIA if they do want to get these cards uh, you know, out to you sooner. And of course, if AMD gets their cards out sooner and those cards are really fast as well, those will definitely be some good GPUs to look out for as well. But you know, either way, it does look like here we do have a general release time or you know, potentially even a release date for the RTX 4080. Uh, you know, I would be expecting uh, September 2022 or at least late 2022 uh, just so you don't get your hopes up because you know while it is possible that they could come out with it sooner you know considering how you know all their RTX 30 series GPUs are just flying off the shelves there's really no reason for them to rush it out at this point so you know they have made these plans probably a long time in advance and I would assume that what you're looking here on the chart is probably going to be pretty accurate but now let's go ahead and talk about AMD's faster 6900 XT that they just released and now I'm going to be showing you a chart here that comes from videocards.com and that's where I originally got all this information so there will be a link uh, to all my sources in the description below as always but in any case yes AMD looks like they did actually release a faster version of the RX 6900 XT what we're talking about here has actually been silicon so this GPU will be able to clock significantly higher and you know taking a look here it is it does look like it's going to be debuting in the Red Devil Ultimate that's what people were able to get their hands on here and if we take a look at the game clock we can see that it has a game clock of 2235 megahertz and if we compare that to the Red Devil Limited Edition that has a game clock of 2105 megahertz so that's actually over 200 megahertz higher than the Red Devil Limited Edition, which is actually pretty impressive. Uh, and then if we compare it to the Liquid Devil, we can see that it actually still has a 200 megahertz increase over that. And that's a liquid cooled card. So yeah, that's really impressive. And then taking a look at the boost clock, it's a little bit less of an increase. But either way, we're taking a look at 2425 megahertz versus 2340 megahertz on the Red Devil Limited Edition and 2365 megahertz on the Liquid Devil. So once again, we're taking a look here at an air cooled card that's actually beating out a liquid 
liquid cooled card in terms of its clock speed. So this has definitely been silicon and it is probably going to be a little bit faster. However, you do have to keep in mind that these ARC 6000 series cards, you know, you can increase their clock speeds and they do get a little bit more performance out of it. I was able to get my hands on a 6800 XT and I did get some decent overclocks out of it in my performance. You know, it did increase. However, it didn't increase by a significant amount. So if you're expecting this bin silicon version of the 6900 XT, which I believe is called the 6900 XT XH, or at least it's the Navi 21 XT XH, which is quite a mouthful, but you know, if you're expecting the 6900 XTX, we'll call it that, uh, to be, you know, significantly faster, that's probably not going to be the case because, you know, what I found with the RX 6000 series GPUs is that the clock speed on the GPU doesn't really matter a huge amount in terms of its performance. You know, it's already at a really, really fast clock speed and it doesn't scale super well beyond that. Uh, what I have found, however, is that if you're able to increase the memory speed, that does have a more significant increase on the performance. Uh, and that's at least what I saw with the 6800 XT when I was over clocking it. Uh, so, you know, instead of seeing a bin silicon version of this card, what I'd like to see is, you know, sure, make a bin silicon version, but also I'd like to see faster memory on that. So if they can get GDDR6X working on these cards, I don't know if they can actually get their hands on that or if that's like exclusive to NVIDIA, or at the very least, if they can get like 18 gigabits per second GDDR6, that would definitely help out quite a bit. And, you know, if they're able to get the same GDDR6X that you see on the RTX 3090 on the 6900 XT, I think that would help it in a lot of scenarios where maybe the Infinity Cache doesn't quite cut it for certain operations and you could potentially be seeing like over a 20% increase in the memory bandwidth of the 6900 XTX versus the regular 6900 XT and I think if you had the bin silicon plus a 20% increase in memory bandwidth you could probably be looking at you know at least 10% more performance out of that card so I you know honestly I'd like to see them kind of like refresh these cards later this year if they're not planning on releasing their 7000 series later this year I think that would be you know a lot of good uh, press for them and I think it would be you know it would make a lot of gamers happy especially if by that time it's a lot easier to get a GPU if they're able to release these slightly faster versions at the same price point that would be a pretty aggressive stance and they may actually be able to beat the RTX 3090 outright if they do that so yeah I definitely like to see that uh, I hope AMD does do something like that but for now it does look like if you're in the market for 6900 XT I would be keeping my eyes out for the Red Devil Ultimate as that should be releasing fairly soon here uh, right now it looks like it's just in the hands of reviewers but yeah it should be right around the corner but hey that's just what I think when do you think that the RTX 4080 is going to launch you think it's going to launch like early 2022 or do you think that it's going to launch late 2022 let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia get more stock also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed